The activity log enables you to track the energy expenditure of your clients in detail. To log activities, simply create a new log or open an existing log, then click the Activities tab. Next, search for any activities, exercises or sports carried out by your client, just like you would when searching for foods. Clicking on a search result will show descriptive information such as category and energy cost of the activity. This information is specific to your client. Click the Insert button to add the activity to your log. Then choose the duration from the pop-up box or type a duration in minutes. Continue to log all activities and exercises corresponding to each day of the log. You can also add a precise kilocal value by using the custom kilocal entry option. This is useful if energy expenditure has been quantified using a smart wearable device or pedometer. Once finished logging, click the report button. The report shows total energy expenditure and will also show energy intake data if you have also entered a food diary, as we have in this example. You can add a simple line graph to plot both energy expenditure and energy intake over each day from the flyout menu. The activity log shows a complete list of all activities carried out each day, along with their associated energy costs. The energy expenditure breakdown details the factors contributing towards the total energy expenditure figure. Basal metabolic rate is calculated from the client's gender, age, weight and height using the formula chosen on the client setup panel. Diet induced thermogenesis estimates the number of calories used in the processes of digestion and absorption of food and will vary based on the quantity and distribution of carbs, protein, fat and alcohol in the diet. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis details all physical activities that have an energy cost but are not considered planned exercise, such as sweeping, gardening and playing the piano. Exercise associated thermogenesis is energy expenditure from any planned exercise or sport. If you do not wish to log all daily activities carried out by an individual, you can choose to use a PAL value to account for the non-exercise activities, and then simply include all planned exercises and sports in the activity log. Just be sure to change the ER source drop down to use both the PAL multiplier and the activity log in the calculation. The PAL multiplier should generally be set between 1.2 and 1.5 when using this option, depending on how much you need is performed by your client. So that's it for this tutorial. For more information on the activity logger, check out the user manual or email us at support at